So today I want to talk to you about something called significant figures. Okay. Um, so we've talked about uncertainty in measurements. All right. So I have a picture here of two graduated cylinders, and both of these graduated cylinders have the exact same amount of water in them. All right. Now I'm going to try and read them. So this first graduated cylinder, it has markings for a 9 and it has markings for a 10. Um, it doesn't have anything in between, so I'm going to try and, like, it's right between them. I'm going to say it's about halfway between them. Um, because it has 9 and a 10, I'm able to actually read that it's between those, and I can estimate it um, as, I'm going to say that's about half, so 0.5. So I would give this uh, a 9.5 milliliters is how much water's in there. Now, that same amount of water in a different graduated cylinder, I know we just, hey, it's 9.5 milliliters, but looking at the second graduated cylinder, that one starts at 0 and goes all the way up to 10. So there's no lines in between there to kind of fine tune it all the way down to the half a milliliter, all the way down to a, um, a point something decimal place, okay, that one decimal place. So I can't get a decimal place there. I'm going to have to say, looking at just that graduated cylinder, not the other one, just that graduated cylinder, I would say it's probably about nine milliliters, okay? Now, the difference between these two devices for measuring the same amount of water is what significant figures is all about. It's all about uncertainty in the measurements here. That first graduate cylinder is much better, okay? It's much better at getting a measurement, um, but looking at the measurements after the fact, how certain about those measurements are you? Well, there's this thing called significant figures. Significant figures is basically a way to detail the device you use, like how good was it. Um, so significant figures, what we're doing is we're counting the number of digits in the measurement, digits meaning tens place or ones place or tenths place or the hundredths place, like 0 0.01, um, that we were able to read on the device used to measurement. How many of those digits, okay, those figures, were we able to actually read on the device, all right? That's what significant figures is, okay? So if I look at this first measurement, I was able to read the tens place. No, sorry. I was able to read the ones place because it went from nine to 10. So I can read the ones place and I'm estimating because I have those lines, I'm estimating on the tens place, that first decimal. So that would be two significant figures, okay? Tens place and a decimal place, the tens place two significant figures. The other one, I'm only able to read a ones place, so that's one significant figure. Okay, I'm only able to read my ones place. So significant figures. How many decimals, how many um, places, ones and tens and hundreds, am I actually able to read? The digits I'm able to read. So figures, actual numbers, how many of them are significant, I was able to read them. Significant figures. Okay, now an even better device, something that would get me three significant figures would be a graduated cylinder with lines in between the 9 and the 10 because then I'd be able to actually read the 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 graduations and kind of read between them. I wouldn't be able to just get a decimal like with the 9.5. I would be able to read between decimals and get like a 9.52 milliliters. I'm able to fine tune it. That would have three significant figures. Okay. So significant figures is kind of a way of describing measurements. If someone else does a measurement or if you did the measurement, you did it a long time ago, it's a way to talk about how uncertain about the measurement you are. So take a look at some of this, this data here that a student um, had. I just pulled this off the internet. But they measured two things. They measured the temperature of NaOH and the temperature of HCl. Okay, now I'm going to guess they used the same device to measure it both times. So this first time they measured it, this is trial one, they said 23 degrees Celsius, okay? Then they said 23.5 degrees and a half, 23.5 degrees Celsius the second time they did it. So when they did it the second time, they were actually able to read a tens, they were actually able to estimate that tens place. So this is their estimated half. When they did it here, they were able to say half here, but here they said 0.2, so maybe it was a little less than half, so they're going with 0.2. This tens place, one decimal, is their estimated digit. It does count, it's significant because you're able to estimate it. Um, but this has three significant figures, tens place, ones place, and then tenths place. 
tens place, ones place, and tens place, tens place, one place, and tens place. So this one, they probably use the same device. And so they actually made a mistake here. What they should have done, if they thought it was exactly 23 degrees, since they had probably a 23 line and a 24 line, um, and they're saying it's right on the 23, because I know they had a 24 if they were able to read 23 to 24, about halfway between them. Um, so if they thought it was right on the 23, they should have put a point zero saying right on 23. Okay, that indicates how many lines you had and what your estimated digit is. In this case, you're able to estimate the tens place. This is a common mistake. People forget that you need to put a point zero if you're able to read a decimal place. Okay, because that would give you three significant figures, a two, a three, and then a point zero, three digits, tens place, ones place, and tens place in your measurement showing everyone you were able to read a decimal place here. Okay, all of these would then have three significant figures. As it is, this one only has two, but I'm guessing the device used to measure it was three. They just didn't record it correctly. So remember when you're recording these measurements, you record them with the correct number of sig figs that your device has. Sig figs are basically, significant figures, are basically derived from whatever device you used to measure it. All right. So if someone else does the measuring, you kind of look at their numbers to see how many significant figures, see what the device was that they used. So there are some kind of rules for when you look at a number, you want to figure out how many significant figures it has, or when you're writing a measurement and you're like, okay, well, I get this many significant figures based on this device. There are some rules to follow with like how, what numbers are significant. So the first rule, non-zero numbers are always significant. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if you write down the number, 23, the 2, and the 3 are both significant. They both count because you're able to read them. Nobody ever has a problem with this rule, honestly. Um, so another example, 2.54 has three significant figures, the 2, the 5, and the 4. You had a ones place, a tens place, and a hundredths place. Okay, two decimals there. They're estimating on that 4. So they had a 2.5, a 2.6 line, and they're kind of estimating it's about eh, the fourth between it. Okay, three significant figures with that device. The second rule, and actually the, the, the next four rules are all about zeros. Okay, because zeros are the ones that are kind of tricky here. Zeros that are between non-zero numbers, or any numbers you've already figured out are significant, are also going to be significant. So this, this one is best explained with an example here. 10.04. Okay, the one for that tens place is significant. And they were able to read it to 0 0.04, right? That means that they had a 0.1, they had a 0, and they were reading between them and saying it's about 0 0.04. It's not quite to the 0.1, but it's less. It's over the 0 0.0, the 10.0. So they were able to read the tens place and the hundredths place. That means they had lines for everything in between. Okay, the ones place and the tenths place. So if you're able to kind of figure out that the one and the four are significant, everything in between is going to be significant too. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's a zero or not. Four significant figures, all right? All final zeros to the right of the decimal are significant. This is that whole write a zero if you have the lines for it that people usually forget. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few examples here. 3.40. Okay, that means they had a 3.4 line, they had a 3.5 line, they think it's right on 3.4, so they write 3.40 because if it was just a hair higher, they could have said 3.41 or 3.42. So they want to have their number saying, I can read to the hundreds place, hundreds place, sorry, um, I can read two decimals, but I think it's right on 0.4, so I'm going to say 0 0.40, three significant figures. So that zero is significant. It's basically like a pointless zero. Any zeros to the right of that decimal place that you're kind of tacking on, they are significant. Okay, 4.0, same thing. They had a 4, they had a 5, they were able to read a tenths place. They think it's right on the 4, so 4.0, and that has two significant figures. All right, 10.0, this one's a little trickier. They probably had a 9, a 10, an 11. They think it's right on 10. So 10.0, they added that zero there to be significant. It's a tens place, they had a ones place, and now they're estimating on the tens place, three significant figures. 
Okay. Now this next one's below zero. All right. Point two zero zero. All right. This means they had a point two zero and a point two one, and they think it's right on the point two zero. So they add another zero to indicate that they are able to read between point two zero and point two one. All right. Those are what their their lines are. Right, so they have that another zero, so that 0 0.200, those, all three numbers are significant. Okay? So, so for everything I've said is, it's significant, it's significant, it's significant. So it's like, hey, is every number you write down significant? Well, the fourth one here, the fourth rule, is the no, these are not significant. Zeros that are placeholders only are not significant. Okay? Again, best with an example here. Point zero three four. Okay, I had a point zero three and a point zero four. They thought it was between the three and the four there. So that zero there, the point zero, that first zero, we know it's a zero point zero, but that first zero after the decimal, that's not actually a line. Okay, that wasn't actually a line. The device they were using was just really small, and they're basically measuring a small number. Um, so they're able to read like three something and four something, and they think it's between them. But those zeros in front of it, they're not significant. They're just telling you it's really, really small. Okay. If I were to say um, that I measured something and it was five millimeters, okay. Five millimeters, one significant figure. If I were to change that into centimeters, it'd be 0.5 centimeters, half a centimeter. All right? So that goes back to this rule right here where oh, the five significant. If I were to then change the centimeters into meters, okay, same amount of distance, but if I just change the unit, I'm like, okay, let's measure it in meters. It's a little ridiculous here, but that would be. 0 0.005 meters. All of those should have the exact same number of significant figures. 5 millimeters, 0.5 centimeters, they have one significant figure each. So when I change it into meters, 0 0.005, those zeros in the front are just telling you it's really, really small. Same thing here, okay? These zeros in front are just telling you it's really, really small. So the three and the four matter, so two significant figures, but these zeros are just saying it's tiny. 4,200, that only has two significant figures. I probably had a 4,000, and then they align for a 5,000. So they're reading between them, 4,000 to 5,000. Um, they say about 200, but they weren't able to fine tune it. So they can read the thousands and the hundreds, but they can't read the tens of the ones place because they don't have the numbers. So these zeros just tell you how big it is. All right, that's just it. If I were to say convert it into a um, larger unit, if I were to say this is uh, 4,200 millimeters, well, it'd be 420 centimeters, which would then be 4.2 meters. 4.2, two significant figures. It should still have two significant figures if you're measuring it centimeters or millimeters. 4,200 millimeters, 4.2 meters, two significant figures figures both. The device I'm using is kind of limited. You can actually change the unit, but you should still have the same number of significant figures. Okay, so 5,050, they probably had a 5,000 and then a 5,100, and they're measuring it between. So they're going up by hundreds. So they're guesstimating on the tens place here. So this is a, hun a thousandths, hundredths, and then tens place. Remember the zero is significant because it's between these two. Um, so that one has three significant figures, okay? But this last zero here is not significant. It's just a placeholder telling you it's really, really big. Last one here, 0 0.0010 has two significant figures. These numbers in front just tell you that they it's really, really small. And then you have the one, that's significant. And then you have a zero on the end. That is one of these number three rules, zeros to the right of that decimal telling you it's pointless, it's there just to tell you you have the place value for it. So that is two significant figures, the one and the zero, okay? This is the rule that's gonna throw you off the most 
honestly. This is the hardest rule right here. Okay. Last rule. Counting numbers, conversion factors, constants. Okay, so if I count something, one, two, three. Um, if I convert something, for example, there is a thousand meters in a kilometer. Okay, that is the definition of a kilometer. So even though we only wrote one kilometer at 1,000 meters, so that has one significant figure in both of these things, we call it infinite because that is literally what a kilometer is. So it's not like it's uncertain at all. We know exactly what a kilometer is. It's a thousand meters. It's thousand point zero 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 meters. As many significant figures as you want. That's the definition of what a kilometer is. Since that's how it's defined, it, it has as many as you want. Infinite. Okay. Counting. That one's a, a good one to talk about too. If I were to say there are 20 people in the room, there's nothing uncertain about that. There's 20 people in the room. I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 20. So I'm not uncertain about that number at all. There's not 20.1 people in the room. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, so 20 people in the room, as many significant figures as I want because I'm counting them. So anytime you're counting something or you're using a conversion factor or a definition or a constant, as much significant figures as you want. All right? Let me give a few more examples here because this is kind of tricky. How many significant figures are listed in each of these measurements? Okay, so this first one, 2.83. Well, the 2, the 8, significant, the 3, those are all numbers, so that one's got 3 significant figures. 3.6 centimeters. Oh, well, the 3 is a number between 1 and 10, 6 is a number between 1 and 10, so that has 2 significant figures. 1's place and 10's place. 2 significant figures. 14.0. Well, the 1 and the 4 for sure. The point zero, though, that's tricky. Did I have to write that? No, not really. It's right after a decimal place. That follows that third rule. I wrote that zero there just to show it was right on the line for 14, and I probably have 15 milliliters, so I think it's right on the line. So I can get a tenths place, so I get three significant figures with this. So three significant figures. Okay, remember that what that point zero means, all right? 0 0.0032 kilograms, all right, which would be 3.2 grams, by the way. So that has two significant figures. These zeros in front don't tell you anything about the significance or uncertainty of it. They just tell you it's a really, really small number compared to the unit kilogram here, okay? So 3.2 grams is how that would convert. That has two. 0 0.0032 kilograms also has two, all right? These zeros don't count, they just tell you it's really, really small. Same thing for this one, 0 0.02 liters, these zeros in front don't count, so that's one significant figure. 0 0.230 grams, okay? The two and the three count, this zero on the end here, same thing as the 14 here, it's on the end here because we had a 0.23 and then maybe a 0.24, we're estimating it's right on the 0.23, so we put a zero there because we could have read it in between the lines if it was just a little higher, but it's not. So 0 0.230, three significant figures, tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place I was able to read with that um, device, I'm estimating on the thousandths. 1.004. Well, the 1 counts and the 4 counts, and everything in between is going to count, so that one's got 4 significant figures. Easy peasy. 30.02 kilometers. Well, the 3 counts and the 2 counts, everything in between is then going to count, so we have 10's place, 1's place, 10's place, 100's place. Does the 0 count? That's a question. Well, once again, it's just like up here, we wrote that 0 on the end to indicate that we had a 0 0.02 and then maybe a 0 0.03. We think it's right on 0 0.02. So we could have gotten a thousandths place with this device. So we wrote a zero there on the end after the decimal place to indicate it. That's got five significant figures. Okay. Now this next section here is all about scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way to show significant figures um, sometimes when you might have difficulty with it. For example, this number 400 here has one significant figure, right? These zeros here are just telling you how big it is, right? So that's one significant figure. 
and that's it. But let's say I'm measuring it and it was 400, 450, 500. I had some lines there for the tens place and I was able to actually determine the tens place. Well, if I put 400 in scientific notation, it'd be 4 times 10 to the power of 2. That's still just one significant figure. But if I write 4.0, now the zero is indicating I was able to read a four and this decimal here times 10 to the power, that decimal is this tens place right here. So that is telling me that this tens place is significant. So 4.0, that has two significant figures. I'm saying you had the 400 and you were able to read the tens place. I was able to get two, but since I think it's a 400, writing it out kind of looks like it only has one. So I want to be absolutely clear that I was able to read too. I was able to read the tens place, so I'm writing it in scientific notation like this to indicate that. Now, if the device is good enough to actually read all the way to the ones place, but I think it's exactly 400, well, just write 400 and it looks like it's one significant figure. So how do we write it showing I can read the ones place? I get three significant figures. Well, 4.00. I got the four, the tens, and the ones. 4.00, three significant figures. It's a way to write that, okay? So scientific notation, if we convert some, something into scientific notation, sometimes we just do it just to show how many significant figures it has because when we do it, we only keep the significant figures. Back to this uh, question over here of the 0 0.0032 kilograms. Um, if I were to convert that into scientific notation, it would be 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative three. I'm only keeping the numbers that are significant. So that gets into that whole, okay, which ones are just placeholders. If you turn it into scientific notation, you kind of automatically do that. You just take off the parts that are placeholders and only keep the numbers that are actually significant. You kind of do it naturally. So a little tip there, okay? All right, I want you guys to pause the video and give these 10 problems a try. How many significant figures are in these measurements? Go ahead, pause it, give it a try, and start it when you have your answers. Okay, so here are the answers. I'm just going to put them all up at once. This first one has three significant figures. That zero on the end is just a placeholder. The next one has five. The zeros in between all the numbers are significant. They're between them. Uh, third one only has two. The zeros on the end are placeholders. Fourth one has three, the zeros in front are placeholders telling you how small it is. The fifth one, that has five. Everything there is significant. The one and the three and everything in between is significant and that zero on the end is there to show you, um, it's on the end of a decimal, so it's there just to show you that you actually got that um, 10 thousandths place, I think is what that is. Six has four significant figures. All the zeros on the end are there to show you. You get all those really, really small numbers. Okay, you were able to, that was a really fine-tuned measurement there. But the zeros in front are just placeholders telling you how small it is. If you were to convert this into scientific notation, it would be 9.000 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, you're only keeping the four significant figures when you do that. Right? This fourth one, or excuse me, this uh, seventh one has four significant figures. Okay, the zero counts. So the two and three counts, so that means the zero in between counts as well. Four significant figures. Um, number eight, these zeros in front don't count, but two, zero, five, four, all of that string, that's four significant figures, they all count. Okay, number nine, uh, the one, two, and the four count. These zeros on the end here, they're just telling you it's ginormous. So this one I probably had a line for 12,000, uh, excuse me, um, 120,000, and then I had another line for 130,000. So I think it's 124,000 meters. I'm guessing on the four there, and so none of these are significant. They're just telling you how big it is. Okay, um, number 10, 1.500 times 10 to the power of three. That has four significant figures. This is in scientific notation, so it's already kind of been converted into a form where everything is significant. These zeros here are decimal zeros showing you you had those places when you measured it, so all of them count. I want to note that number three is the exact same measurement as number 10, 1500. But this is showing that those zeros are significant, whereas this one is not. 
Okay, two significant figures, those zeros don't count. Or 1,000 to 2,000 is what it is saying we write it as. Or is this one saying we were able to read the tens and the ones place? So I'm going to write in scientific notation to make sure, because I think it's 1,500, but if I write it like this, it doesn't look like it's got as certain as I know. It's as good as I know it. So I'm going to write it like this to show I can read the tens, tens and the ones place. Okay, four significant figures. All right, that's it for today.